All right, welcome back to the Hunter of Dividends YouTube channel. We're going to take a look at Sunoco, ticker symbol SUN. This is a viewer request, so let's take a look at this stock and see what we think here. We're going to take a look first at the chart. This is a max chart going back to 2012. If you look at the five-year chart, you see the massive drop there in March of 2020 when oil dropped below $0.00 the craziness with the trading there and then it bounces back was in the 20s uh, we saw it hit as high as 46.95 here in the last year and now it's kind of bounced around we see a forward dividend yield of 8.21 percent for this mlp uh, sunoco uh, keep an eye on mlps they are definitely different i won't go in depth into what an mlp is here in this one because i want to keep this brief but they're a little bit different than a typical corporation. So Sunoco here, we've seen it bounce around. Uh, I want to take a look now a little bit more closely at Sunoco when it comes to simply safe dividends. Uh, Sunoco 25 for dividend safety score um, from simply safe dividends. So they consider this a very unsafe dividend. Um, they think that there's moderate to high risk of a dividend cut over a full economic cycle. Certainly not exactly what you want to see because as a dividend investor, I want to know that my dividend's safe. Uh, that's really important to me. The dividend yield of 8.21% is tremendous. If you think it is a safe dividend, um, it would be hard to argue that this wouldn't be a good one to look at. The beta is 0 0.58. These uh, oil and gas MLPs usually don't trade up and down very much in a short period of time unless the price of oil uh, goes crazy. So uh, in general, they kind of move slowly. There's been no dividend growth here over the last five years, just flat. Uh, this is a stock that's pretty inconsistent when it comes to dividend growth. You can see a cut, you can see a big gain. Uh, you never know exactly what you're going to get. Um, as far as dividend yield, the five-year average is actually 10.73%. That's a bit skewed because of 2020. Uh, the DCF ratio there is slightly below the five-year average. And the price is sitting right about in the middle of the 52-week average. So the DCF payout ratio, uh, which is similar to free cash flows for MLPs here, uh, paid out as a distribution. 90% is what they want it to be below. It's far below 90%. So if you just look at that on the surface, you would think that this dividend is pretty safe. The free cash flow payout ratio, though, is high. Um, the last 12 months, 119%, not something you want to see there. This is a very volatile um, looking balance sheet. You look at the free cash flow per share, it's way up and down. Um, sales growth is also way up and down. You never know exactly what you're going to get out of, out of this one. Uh, shares outstanding have gone up quite a bit. I know some people don't like that very much, so that's something to keep an eye on. Sales have gone up pretty nicely. Uh, return on equity has been solid here of late. It's easier to have a good uh, return and have sales up when uh, the price of gas is what it is right now. The question is, do you see that continuing? Net debt uh, to EBITDA and to capital is a little bit high here. I suspect this is one of the bigger reasons why Simply Safe Dividends only gives us a 25 for a dividend safety score. This company does have quite a bit of debt and the interest coverage at four and a half, it has dipped below the two and a half multiple times. And like I said, the net debt to capital is pretty far above what Simply Safe Dividends wants. So um, that's something to keep an eye on as you go forward. Uh, let's see here as I'm going to take a look at fast graphs to look at valuation. I think this is another uh, terrific tool in combination with Simply Safe Dividends. So you see, this is a very volatile chart. I will say to start with, this is a tough one to read because there's so many ups and downs. Um, this is saying this is what the general PE has been, the average PE. And uh, we're certainly trading below that. So it would look cheap on that basis. If we look at operating cash flow again, uh, cheaper than a normal price there. So that would suggest this could go up to even in the 60s. And here we are at 40. Sales, 
a little bit below the average. We're pretty close here on this one. So let's take a look at the analyst forecasts compared to where we're at right now. And you see, if you just go by analyst forecasts for the near term, this looks like a really good buy in terms of um, sales. It looks like rate of return of 92% by the end of this year. I think that's highly unlikely. Um, 22.5% by 2023, and then 8% by 2024. This suggests that analysts really just don't know what, what's going to happen with the earnings as you go out farther. It depends a lot based on the, the price of oil. So let's take a look at operated, uh, adjusted operating earnings. This one is a better picture to me. Um, you're looking at a rate of return, if it's in the middle range, of even 25.7% at this uh, operating earnings. So it suggests the stock is pretty cheap. Um, operating cash flow, again, looks looks definitely cheap based on this, even on a pessimistic scale of nine times here, you would get a rate of return of 31.83%. So in general, my takeaway from Sunoco would be that it depends on what you think is going to happen with the price of oil and it depends on your risk tolerance level. I don't think this is a really safe dividend as suggested by the 25 on Simply Safe Dividends. However, I don't think the stock is trading at a high price right now. The valuation looks pretty fair. So if you think the price of oil is going to stay pretty high, I don't mind Sunoco. Um, will I be investing in this one? I don't think I will. I think I, I like some other oil companies better. Um, Chevron's already in my portfolio. I like some other um, oil. I even like CNQ, the Canadian uh, oil company. So there are some others that I like better. I don't mind Sunoco, and I wouldn't blame you if you took this one. So that's kind of the key takeaway is uh, Simply Safe Dividends doesn't love this as far as safety, but the valuations, this appears to be a cheap stock. So let me know what you think of Sunoco in the comments below. Uh, thanks for the viewer request here. And if you have any stocks that you want me to take a look at, please drop them below or mention them to me on Twitter at Hunt Dividends. You can follow me there. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Certainly appreciate everybody who's tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll be back again soon.